Hey guys, this is Poker Ranger Mike bringing you some new Pokemon news. So a new trailer just came out for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And the first thing they showed off was Dustmane Necrozma and Dawnwing's Necrozma. That being the new forms where Necrozma takes over Solgaleo and Lunala's bodies. And they also showed off a new move, which is Necrozma's new move, uh, Photon Geyser. So this seems to be a psychic type move, most likely, um, and I think it has a pretty cool animation. It's kind of similar to his prismatic laser that he got in Sun and Moon, uh, but it is a little bit different. I'm curious what the uh, base power differences are and that kind of stuff. Um, then the really awesome thing is they showed off the new Z moves that Necrozma and Lunala will be getting, or I should say the uh, Necrozma forms of them. Of Sogalio and Lunala. And that being uh, Searing Sun Rays Smash, which is going to take a Sun Steel Strike and use it as a Z move. And as we can see, it sent the Gigalith off into the next dimension, into the like Ultra Wormhole. And then in the Sogalio form, he like runs after, then he starts winding up into this crazy like ball strike. And what I think is pretty awesome is the resulting um, damage looks like a sun. So that kind of fits in with the Sogaleo theme. And then we also had the Lunala form, which had the menacing Moonrays Maelstrom. And Lunala like, soars after the Mimikyu that is attacking. It uses six beams of light, which converge into one. And it also leaves behind this kind of blue sphere, which could be looking like a moon. And so those are the two new Z moves. Along with, they show that Rotom Dex is going to be getting a power up. And the first thing is that you'll be able to unlock new features as you befriend Rotom, as you like talk to him, interact with him, that kind of stuff. He seems he'll be giving you items. And he'll also be having abilities like O Power, such as <clears throat> hatching experience, um, money. And all that kind of stuff, and something very interesting, which is Rome has a Z power, which will be to use your Z moves again. And if you're having troubles already with the Sun Moon playthrough, then you know you can use that Z move twice. Honestly, I don't think that you're going to be needing that much, but I still think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's a good way for the trainers to interact with the Rum decks. And Sun Moon, you didn't get too much interaction with him. He kind of like told you where to go, and it wasn't very interesting. But I think this will possibly give a little bit more character to Rhythm and provide a little bit more of a better interaction. Going back to Necrozma, I really think that the new animations for the Z moves are sweet. Um, I personally really love Solgaleo, and I really love the uh, new Z move for him. Um, or I should say the Necrozma version of him. Um, Lunala's is still pretty cool. I won't deny that. Uh, but I'm just not as big a fan personally. It's okay if you are. You know, go right ahead. Uh, let me know who you think had the better Z move. And the original video will be in the link below. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. And put them in the comments below. And hope you guys stay super fantastic. Bye. Thank you.